Back in 1518, in a France town called Strasbourg, something really strange and deadly happened. The Dancing Plague. For weeks, hundreds of peoples couldn't stop dancing in the streets, even in scorching heat. It was crazy, exhausting, and sadly, some got hurt or even lost their lives. No one really knows why it happened, but historians and scientists have some interesting ideas. Let's explore the mystery of the Dancing Plague together. The Dancing Plague started in July 1518, when a woman called Frau Trophea came out of her house and started dancing fervently in the streets of Strasbourg. According to people who were there at the time, Trophea danced for many hours and didn't listen to her husband and neighbors when they asked her to stop. In a week, 30 more people in the city started dancing, even though the epidemic had spread to 400 people. Many dancers danced without stopping for many days or weeks until they were too tired and had to stop. To this day, the exact causes behind this extraordinary event remain shrouded in mystery, yet historians and scientists have posited several compelling theories in an attempt to unravel its enigma. Here's what the first theory says about the strange dancing plague incident. The first hypothesis proposed to explain the dancing plague was that it was caused by mass hysteria or a psychological disorder. At the time, Strasbourg was a densely populated and highly stressed city with frequent outbreaks of disease, famine, and social unrest. Some historians have suggested that the dancing may have been a form of mass psychogenic illness, triggered by anxiety, religious fervor, or other psychological factors. So, this theory doesn't justify the actual reason behind the strange dancing plague incident. Let's move on to the next one. Another theory suggests that the dancing plague was caused by a toxic or hallucinogenic substance such as ergot fungus. Ergot is a mold that grows on rye and other grains and can produce compounds that cause delirium, convulsions, and hallucinations. It produces toxins harmful to humans and animals. Historically, it's linked to outbreaks of St. Anthony's fire in the Middle Ages which manifested as a range of symptoms, including fever, seizures, and hallucinations. Some researchers have suggested that the dancers may have consumed bread or other food contaminated with ergot, which could have triggered the convulsions and the compulsion to dance. Okay, this one is close, and we can believe it to some extent, but it's up to you to believe it or not. Let's move on to the last theory and see what it says. A third theory proposes that the dancing plague was a form of mass ritual or protest. Strasbourg was a religiously diverse city, with a mix of Catholics and Protestants, and tensions were high between the two groups. Some historians have suggested that the dancing may have been a form of ecstatic religious experience, or a protest against social and religious hierarchies. Others have speculated that the dancers may have been members of a secret society or cult, who used the dancing as a form of initiation or religious ceremony. Despite extensive research and speculation, the true causes of the dancing plague remain unknown. Today, the dancing plague of 1518 remains one of the most bizarre and enigmatic events in history. That's it for now, and hopefully to decode many strange and unsolved mysteries of the past together. Bye for now, and see you in the next video.